Amazon Web Services has released support for PowerShell Core 6 with AWS Lambda, meaning that we can now execute PowerShell scripts in response to Lambda events. Let's take a look at how to take advantage of this feature. First, we need to be running our commands in PowerShell 6 or higher. I'm running PowerShell 6.1 in my integrated console in VS Code. Next, we need to make sure that both the AWS PowerShell and AWS Lambda PS Core modules are installed and imported. Now let's go ahead and set the credential profile that we'll be using with the AWS commands. I've already stored my access and secret keys into variables so that they can remain a secret. So now I'm going to pass both of those variables to initialize AWS default configuration to initialize the default profile that I'll be using. Next I'm going to run get lm function list to return a list of lambda functions that I currently have configured. As you can see here I have none. Now to help us get started with a PowerShell based Lambda function, there are some templates that are available to use. Let's go ahead and run get AWS PowerShell Lambda template to see what's available. For this demo, I'm going to be using the basic template, which is going to give me a bare bones script to work off of. So the next step is to run new AWS PowerShell Lambda and pass the basic template. I'm also giving my script a name of PS test. You'll notice in my Explorer pane that the command has created a folder called pstest, which has a ps1 file and a readme. Let's go ahead and open the ps1 file. There's some useful information in here on how Lambda will process this script file. One thing to keep in mind here on line 7 is that only the last item in the PowerShell pipeline will be returned as the result of the function. For now, I'm just going to go to the end of the script and add a simple hello world with write host. Now let's save and close this file. To get started with publishing my script, I'm going to build a splat where I'm going to pass it a name of pstest, the path to my ps1 file, the region I would like to use, and finally, the IAM role that I've already created, which will allow this script to execute. Now let's pass that splat to publish AWS PowerShell Lambda. It will now begin building the project and creating the new Lambda function in AWS. Now when I run get lm function list again, you can see that my new lambda function pstest has been created. Now let's test this function by running invoke lm function and passing it an invocation type of event. A status of 202 means that the function ran successfully. Now let's take a look at the CloudWatch logs for this function. I'm going to run get cwl log group, and we can see here that there is a new log group that has been created for our new function. Now I'll run get cwl filtered log event to see the events from that log group. If I scroll up a little bit, we can see my hello world output from the script. One thing I'd like to point out here is that messages written with write host or write information will show up in the CloudWatch logs. Objects returned from the script will not. I hope you enjoyed learning about running PowerShell scripts with AWS Lambda functions. Thanks for watching.